a friendship forged in music, a partnership in its fourth decade, a lifetime in pursuit of the perfect song, and a community built along the way. 14 studio albums and another one in the wings. The band is Sky Diggers. This is Employee of the Myth. Track 5, A Wednesday. And now, in conversation with Jane Gowan of the Music Buddy Podcast, Andy Mays and Josh Finlayson. Sky Diggers. You guys have been through so much together, and in this song you're singing about the loss of a friend and the loss of a family member, or maybe the loss of more than one family member. I mean, it's hard to talk about death, and it's hard to write about death, but it's must be even harder to sing about death and losing people. How do you do it? I think there's a certain uh, amount of uh, catharsis involved. Uh, that is the one privilege of being able to to play and sing music is that it 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 allows you to express feelings that uh, might otherwise be almost too difficult to express Mm -hmm. and as josh has always said music is good medicine and so uh to be able to have that release is uh, yeah it's cathartic the losses that you've experienced some of them you've experienced them together i mean i guess the upside to grief is love do you think your losses have helped you in some way um become deeper musically like expand more musically or perhaps helped your friendship and your trust of each other and your appreciation i think Mm -hmm. i think as time goes on you you understand how fleeting it all is and Mm -hmm. that we uh still are able to make music together um and have the opportunity to express some of those emotions uh, and those ideas or those, you know, like I, I know I can think of, you know, many times through the course of the band where, uh, you know, things have happened to us personally and the band is really, it's almost like a refuge. You know, you can't, no one can, uh, no one can sort of touch you there mm-hmm. except each other, you know, and that's sort of, it's, it's strangely, it's this place that is, uh, you know, it's it's almost like you have some weird immunity to the world. Mm-hmm. So that's a, I think that's one of the great gifts of mm-hmm. of what the band has been for me. Yeah. Like speaking for myself. Mm-hmm. And you, I mean, you have experience within the band too, losing your uh, bandmate Paul McLeod. Mm-hmm. You just um, put out an album called Brothers Keeper, which is. Was it outtakes from Desmond's Hip City? An alternate takes, yeah, from Desmond's. We really wanted to feature Paul's playing as yeah. well. He was a great guitar player. Mm-hmm. And sing, singing, too. And singer. Well. Yeah. Great singing, too. Yeah. All of our dreaming Would always save us again Sky Diggers continue to use their platform to share the work, tell the stories, and pay tribute to those who have passed on. That's what a Wednesday is all about. And Andy, on this song, you go to falsetto, and, and you pick and choose your points. How do you decide when to do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's just the way the... The, the chord structure and then the melody struck me. Mm-hmm. And and maybe the line I'm singing, uh, maybe it's, uh, maybe I just wanted to be 
even more vulnerable mm -hmm. uh, in that moment. And certainly whenever I sing in falsetto, I feel kind of vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you're wondering if you're going to crack or... But, but also, it was more just in keeping with the, the lyric, I think. Did you feel after you'd done this take that you needed a, to go and take a break or a little bit yeah yeah it's you put it's emotional for it. sure yeah. yeah and you were and in that first verse i believe you're referencing your friend gord downey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um talking about his love of the Bee Gees <laughs> <laughs> and how he wasn't afraid to tell people that he loved the Bee Gees and just that idea that it's okay to to love certain bands even if other people don't think they're cool or to love certain things. Mm -hmm. Are there things like that for you guys that are similar? Like, are there bands that you love that you people would go, oh, I can't believe you like those guys? Well, I would say uh, for me, uh, a certain song is uh, a Brandy by The Looking Glass is, a, uh, <laughs> is one of my favorites. Brandy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brandy, she's a how's it? fine girl. She's what a good wife she would be. Oh dear. <laughs> so timely. Don't say that out loud. So timely. <laughs> but my uh, my lo uh, my life, my love, and my lady is the sea. Oh. And it's the rest of the chorus. Yeah. Oh right, that's quite yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Josh, any guilty secrets? Guilty pleasures. Oh. Um, well, though it doesn't on. have to be guilty. Um. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, it does. Wait a minute. Punish me. Um, oh, there's so many. Uh, I'm, there's so many. I I don't even know where to. I don't know where to start. The be you know. But I mean, the thing is, the Bee Gees. Uh, I mean, so many people associate the Bee Gees with the Saturday Night Live, uh, Saturday Night Fever mm -hmm. soundtrack, and I think that's. A little, which uh, is awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, either you like it or you don't. But you know, just it's like one of those records that you just heard too much, uh, potentially. So you yeah. just it it becomes like you know something you hate. Just be, I mean, I can think of acts and bands that I didn't uh, like just because they were they were just played too Overplayed. much. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then you come back to it and you, get, you realize, wow, those are great records, those are great songs. And, mm -hmm. and the Bee Gees, you know, that was certainly a significant commercial success of their career. And their, uh, But they had lots of great songs and they continued to write songs for other people. They were, they were incredible, you know. Like, I mean, it, I, it's funny, I, uh, I have that verse, the first verse in this song is about uh, being at Gord's memorial like wake memorial in a in a, a pub here in toronto and we uh, a number of us played at it uh and uh and we played the bg song um how can you mend a broken heart uh which is song gord loved mm -hmm. and just before we sang it andy got uh gord's two sisters charlene and paula to come up and join us to sing in the song and that was a very moving you know beautiful moment okay. and uh, yeah. uh not something that either of them probably would have done had it been planned or maybe maybe they would have but i don't think so you know right. uh, but it was just it made that uh unique and that's what andy's referencing in the song which maybe i should be giving that away but it's a mm -hmm. it was you know it was again music music became this uh it has that ability to sort of uh, break down barriers and, and it was and, healing and, and it was healing yeah mm -hmm. it was for a, it was a us. real moment for everyone you know like hopefully and now live off the floor at the woodshed josh and andy with a wednesday a wednesday meant for broken hearts to mend Paula, Shar, and I begin to sing A song by Morris, Robin, and Barry Gordy never minded sharing How can a loser ever win? I'm 
calling out your name One last kiss but not goodbye Is kind to you, and I will sing this last goodbye. It's bold and it's brave to write a song like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful vocal too. Andy singing it's, it's so great. It's a great song. I mean, it, it he also the the last verse is about his dad, and you know, and that's equally as powerful and moving. I was I was struggling with the song. I couldn't quite, there was something I couldn't unlock in it. And the, the way it was originally constructed, the third verse was the first verse. And the first verse was the second verse. And then the second verse was the third verse. And one day I just tried changing the verses around and suddenly it made a lot more sense the th- the third verse for me is like the hardest uh-huh. so so kind of working up to it ultimately made more sense and that's it's funny how sometimes something as simple as a, a slight move can sort of suddenly everything drops into place do you think this would be a song that you would perform live I, or would it be too difficult yeah to- i mean in a Probably in a in a crowded, noisy bar would probably be the best place to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's humor. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, in the right in the right venue, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I bet if you played it in a crowded, noisy bar, people would get you know, noisier. <laughs> people would stop talking. Play something we know. <laughs> you know, at this age, we've all lost people. We've all. We're all experiencing the process of aging and the inevitable. I mean, how do you, as you two guys, how do you deal with that? What's the way that you find to be positive and to not let that bog you down? Do you have tricks, tips? Music. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I would say music. A good healthy dose of denial probably would go in there. And some laughter, too. Yeah. You know, you've got to counterbalance the, the grief with some... It's okay to it's okay to laugh, uh, you know, when you're telling stories, and you know. It reminds me. I mean, you've written songs that are dealing with loss and and death, and and such as you know, too soon to say goodbye, and anything for you, and your song, "Where's My Baby Tonight." Mm-hmm. Are there any of those that you might like to just give us a taste of right now, or mm-hmm. should we do a little bit of anything for you? This was we had. We had been asked to play uh, to play a, a wedding a number of years ago. We actually, Josh and I, were playing a, a gig at the uh, at the Ratskeller Pub at, at McMaster uh, in Hamilton. Which, when I went to McMaster, I lived about a fifty foot stumble from the entrance to the what we called the Rat, and they would have uh, they would have um, folk uh, musicians playing six nights a week. And so uh, Josh and I had a, a gig there one night, and at the end of the night, these people called us over to their table and uh, and introduced themselves, and uh, we sat and had a beer with them. And uh, and uh, two of the uh, one of the there are two couples. One of the couples uh, said to us, uh, "Would you uh, play at our wedding?" And you know, we ha, 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 of course we would, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, and so that was the last we thought of it. Mm-hmm. And so a few months later, they contacted us and said, you know, we're getting married in Fredericton. And, uh, you know, next year or whenever it was, and we'd like to engage you to play our wedding. We were serious. So we said, uh, you know, we did it all, all, all the timing and everything worked out. Mm-hmm. And from that time uh, until a few months before the wedding, we... Uh, uh, received correspondence that the uh, the groom to be had been uh, diagnosed with cancer. The prospects were not good mm. uh, for any sort of recovery, mm. but that they were going to proceed with the um, with the wedding. And mm. so, 
we went and we played the wedding in Fredericton, and it was probably the greatest, uh, what is the right word, uh, the greatest uh, demonstration and display of love. That, and joy. Uh, and, and joy. joy. And joy. That uh, that that we've ever uh, that well certainly that I've ever experienced and it it certainly made a, a deep impression on on Josh and me and mm. and this song that we wrote for Kim and Ed mm-hmm. um, it, it, we wrote together in Josh's uh, in Josh's kitchen and we just we we each traded lines I mean the song it's probably it's one of the few times where we're actually just lyrically. You've got a line, I answer, there's another, you have another line, and it's really a unique song for us, which, yeah. once again, is probably because we didn't write it. You know, it was probably written by Ed and Kim, the and their love, the their love wrote the song. Is sleight of hand Sometimes too cruel To understand Love Is beautiful The way it turns The way it And I would do anything for you To make it all go away for you Anything for you Do the next verse as well Faith Makes tough demands As we lie together Hand in may have been But if I had the chance to I'd do it all again And I would do anything for you To make it all go away for you Anything for you Anything for you Anything for you I'd do Anything for you And that's for Kim and Ed and Wendy and Adrian. The album is called Hide Your Light. The band is Sky Diggers, and this has been Employee of the Myth. Employee of the Myth is hosted by Jane Gowan and recorded at Blue Rodeo's Woodshed Studios in Toronto, Ontario. The podcast is engineered by Tim Vesley and mixed by Jane Gowan. If you enjoyed this conversation, please rate, review, share, subscribe, and play it loud. My name is Joel Stewart. Thanks for listening. Don't look to me for the answer I don't know nothing anymore I'll do my best in the meantime And wonder what it's been for Je t'aime toujours, mon amour Je t'aime toujours, mon amour